in uh, September 39. And uh, I volunteered for either the RASC, RASC that's right, or the tank. I asked for a fortnight, to be given a fortnight to get my house in, in, order, in order, as it were. And, uh, what was happening in Europe right now? Oh, yes. I, I, well, just before the war, uh, the Prime Minister said we, we, uh, we, we, we can regard ourselves as, as being at war because the uh, Germans have attacked, have attacked um, Poland. Poland. This was Chamberlain. That's Chamberlain. That's right. And uh, it was on a Sunday, and uh, the war was declared. So I came home. Were you scared? No, no. Uh, oh, yes, and before the war, I'd, I'd read uh, Mein Kampf. All right. And uh, which, sh sh it just, he stated what, what he was going to do. And one was, uh, he was going to get rid of all the... Um, Jews and the um, what are they called? Gypsies and gypsies. And I, I thought, well, this isn't wrong. And so uh, I got on. When I got home, I said, as I said, I volunteered sometime at the, at the end of September. And uh, I was called up, and I went down to Aldershot on the 11th of October. And there, uh, the we were in a massive room, and I was uh, I'm mucked in, shall we say, with another conservative and, and a liberal. Did I say I was interested in uh, 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 what's the word? Politics. Politics, thanks. Um, and uh, that night, uh, oh, there, there were two uh, socialists. Uh, what are the communists? Co communists, that's right. And uh, there were three, in fact, two biggest chaps. I wouldn't have liked to have uh, uh, had a go. And uh, there was one about, well, probably about ten stones, but uh, he was the district leader up in Glasgow. And there were knives and bottles and everything being thrown about. Oh, yeah. Anyway, in due course, I left Aldershot. And, and there's a fellow from Penistone called Gilbert Ramsden. I didn't really know him, but he, a little fellow about five foot eight, something like that, wavy hair, uh, quite pretty. Uh, a, they, they were customers of ours, he, he and his wife, and uh, uh, Burton's uh, green suit with lift up, lifted uh, shoulders. And, uh, and I, I mean, I would have thought, well, you know, one bump and Gilbert would have been down and crying, probably. But anyway, we, Gilbert came down to um, Aldershot on the same day as it happened. And we went down to uh, Pottsfield, uh, which is WD and, H -O, WD and H O Wills, the tobacco people. They had a, uh, a stable there. And we had to muck out the stables, <laughs> and that, that's where we slept. And uh, one lunchtime, we were queuing up, that's a surprise to us. We were waiting, uh, we were in the queue, and this uh, Gilbert was in front of me, in, in his proper place, you know. And this uh, commie leader, he was a bastard, uh, he tried to push in. Uh, so uh, Gilbert said, sorry, Jock, but, uh, you know, you, you don't, don't. Don't come in. And Jock said, I'm coming in. I said, anyway, if you want to make anything of it, take your coat off. So Gilbert took his coat off. And it was bang, wallop, bang. Gilbert. Uh, that was a Gilbert that walloped him well and truly. So uh, I said, we were in battle by, uh, dress. And he put, uh, I said, Gilbert, oh God, I, I didn't expect you were a fighter. Oh, yes. And he put his, a Bruno tin out of his uh, 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 battle dress pocket. Mm -hmm. He'd fought in Ma Manchester 
Liverpool, Huddersfield, you know, all the, and he was a pro. Oh, shit. So this is it. Um, one, uh, you, you just don't put any. Well, you keep. You behave yourself on the, unless you get done because mm -hmm. there are different sorts of pluck. Uh, I mean, I hated making speeches, for example, mm -hmm. in the uh, Conservatives, uh, but. I had uh, a lot of guts uh, on the land. I wouldn't have liked to have been a, in the Navy. I, I couldn't have been a, uh, a fighter pilot. I, I, I could have taken a, I feel that I could have taken a bomber. Because I, you know, I think it would have taken my guts away. But a fellow, who was Basher Brink, Brinkley. He came from London. He was a private with me at that time. And, um, he won the, uh, the uh, he was called Basher. Uh, he was a, a booth man uh, in, in those days uh, when there was so a bear. Pay to go and fight. That's right. Uh, you give anybody a stone, and if, you could, uh, if they could stay in the ring, ring for three, uh, three, day, uh, three um, Round. rounds, uh, then they got a quid back, something like that. But um, uh, nobody picked on Basher. But uh, when we were, um, when we moved uh, on the 10th of uh, May of uh, 40, we moved into uh, uh, Belgium and we were being uh, machine gunned. And the, the, the whole lot, so we pulled in and got into the, um, in, in, in the gutter, you know, in, into the hedge bottom. I got down, obviously, Every, everybody did, it makes common sense. But Basher, he was really grovel, groveling, he was trying to bloody death. And that, that's different sorts of guts. Um, Tell me about Dunkirk. Dunkirk, yeah, we went up to, um, between Namur and, uh, oh, put it me, and uh, with, um, Brussels, Namur, uh, the, the, I've missed one place now, but uh, Namur is the people near enough. This is after the Germans that, well, uh, came uh, to the We, we moved straight in on the 10th, the very day that they attacked Holland, uh, we, went, we went straight up. And 48th, uh, we were just to the right of uh, Brussels. Was this before they came into France? Pardon? Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, we, we, yes, uh, we went up. Uh, beyond the uh, Leopold Canal, anyway, we came back uh, over there, and uh, of course they they're, they're too good for us. I mean, they're too strong. I mean, it's metal that really counts, you know. If you've got the uh, wing guns uh, and, and, and and planes, of course, uh, we pulled back, How many and then we were ordered to supply to retire to Dunkirk uh, with the lorries. And we left 56 jugs, containers of rum, uh, two, two gallon each, uh, there for the ruddy Germans. And I said, well, what are we, do? What are we going to do, stuff? Uh, I said, well, we haven't got orders to destroy it, so uh, leave it alone. So it's left. So we, we went back to Dunkirk, near Dunkirk. And uh, all the drivers had orders to do what, they, what harm they could. Uh, probably uh, run the water out uh -huh. and leave the engine running until right. it seized up, that sort of thing. Then uh, I went down to Dunkirk, uh, sorry, to Bredews, which is off Dunkirk. And uh, once again, we were bombed, shelled, etc. We were there for three nights. Paint a picture of what it was like on the beaches. I mean, how many people oh, were there? Oh, uh, a lot. Uh, uh, greatly, they're in their different groups. Uh, a captain would say, well, right, come on, uh, uh, we're going there. They, go, we went, they went into the, it was quite a shallow uh, pool on the, uh, from the sands, as it were. And then they, they um, right, we they put what they could onto a ship, a uh, motorboat, that sort of thing, and then right, fall back, you know, and we had the... Did the tide ever come in? 
Oh yes, yeah, but they ne never up to, it never oh, yeah. went on to the sands, there, there, were no, there was no wall or anything like that. So, how, so it was about, what, 300,000 people? Yes, not that I saw, but okay. all, all, all together. All th along uh, the beaches? On the beach, that's right. And, and, uh, and you had no cover at all? Oh no. no, no, you no, just no. Was, uh, the thing was to get into a, a hole in the uh, sands, you know, uh, on the dunes, that is. How can they only kill 50,000? I mean, I know it's a lot, but... Well, we were bloody running so so hard. Uh, that's why. And I, I remember an infantryman uh, starting sc screaming. It wasn't with my lot, and he was flattened. What, hit or shot? Hit. Shot, shot, because, uh, you, you know, you just couldn't allow that uh. sort of thing. With, uh, I saw, I think it was a, pa a paddle boat that was hit, three bombs, and... Uh, Two of us, in due course, might have been the next morning, pulled uh, a fellow uh, from the sea. He was he was drowned. He'd been burnt. Uh, they had uh, the, the, the um, hospital ships went. Uh, the hospital uh, hospitalised people went on first. Right. Obviously, that was from the Dunkirk itself, from the from the from the harbour. And uh, we pulled this fellow. He was half cooked and burnt. That's the thing. Put him on the sands. I don't think we did anything with him at all. And uh, we were machine guns. How, I mean, you must have been absolutely terrified. Not you? really funny. No. Uh, frightened, if you like, but not terrified. Quite definitely. And uh, second day, third day, it must have been obviously. Uh, I, I said to a captain, we were, I, my, my captain, uh, I wasn't with my mob, as it were, I was on the sands, and I said, because I'd done a mile. Swimming. So I said, would it be all right if I go out and get that boat? It was a rowing boat of, shall we, it must have been about, must have uh, owed hell, uh, a dozen fellows. And people uh, were coming across from England with these boats? Oh, oh indeed, yes. Uh, well, uh, this carries through on that, really. Uh, I said, yes, of course, corporal. And uh, I left my, um, and I put my boots around my neck. Uh, left my uh, rifle and cheaply waded and waded and waded and probably had to do about 50 yards, got onto this boat. By the time I got there, I was lucky to get on. Uh, some other fellows had the uh, common sense you know, mm -hmm. to look after themselves. So I got an arrow. Arrow? No. A bear. A ro rowing boat. Oh, uh, paddle. A row. Paddle. 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 And I said, right, I'm having that mother, and I shall never forget my wrists. Because I pulled and pulled, and we, we went for... Did other people, did people try and swim out, carry on trying to follow you out? Uh, oh, no. I mean, it was part, uh, in due course, we came, we got onto a, uh, a motorboat, and uh, uh, it was uh, like lorries. They have a steel superstructure. This boat, this motorboat had a super, super, superstructure. Superstructure. That's right. And I went on this boat to the mine leaver, mine sweeper, mine sweeper, mine sweeper, the leader. I shall never forget the name. And I got on there. I managed, I managed to find a spare rifle. <laughs> Somebody else's, in other words. And uh, I, we went over to Ramsgate, but in the in passing, the leader, um, in due course, maybe a year or two later, went onto the Arctic uh, run uh, from America to the north of uh, Russia, uh, Russia, and the poor, the, all the bastards were drowned. You know, the, um, uh, I don't know, bombed or probably to uh, torpedoes. 